So in this video, we're going to be trying the new Naked Cherry collection. Um, I asked you guys in a poll if you wanted me to review this collection. A lot of you guys said you did. So um, this collection consists of an eyeshadow palette, which is this one right here. The packaging is really cute. This actually came in a huge cherry. I'll insert a picture here on the side because I had to throw that thing out. It was so annoying. Like, it was a round cherry and... I have no space in this room so it was literally going everywhere so I was like you need to go like you really need to go it was with the palette it comes also um, with the all-nighter in the cherry scent which is amazing because of the fact that I really don't like the scent of the original all-nighter I feel like it smells a little bit weird or funky if you agree then let me know down below this also comes with the naked cherry highlight and blush palette so this is the highlight and blush palette right here and then we have three lipsticks that it comes with um one it's in the shade juicy the other one is in the shade cherry and the other one is in the shade devilish so i'm going to be swashing <laughs> i'm also filming with my dslr today let me know if you guys can tell a difference um i haven't filmed with this camera in like ages um, because for some reason I couldn't figure out why I wasn't filming in 1080p anymore. I was like, this camera is old, that's probably why. But it turns out that it was just that I changed the setting by mistake. So, yeah. And now I have it in different settings. I figured out the lighting, like, you know what I mean? Like, it looks brighter and all of that good stuff. So I'm really happy right now with how it kind of like looks. I feel like it could be a little bit brighter, but that could be my lights. Either way, we have three lipsticks. I'll be swatching the lipsticks once I get to this part of the video. I already have my eyebrows done. I have my eyelids primed and that is just with Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape dries down to like a matte finish. It's already kind of like dry, but still a little bit tacky. Right, so I'm going to be taking a Soeva 221 brush. I'm going to start off with that shade Hotspot. And just place it like all over my lid, pretty much to like set everything. I'm just taking the shade Feels. cheap eyeshadows I would say that they do have a little bit of kickback but I don't mind that if you mind that then just keep that in mind um, but they normally like blend really easily and they look really good on the eyes so you're pretty much paying for like the quality of the shadows in my opinion though they could be a little bit creamier um, because they are a little bit more on the dry side and a little bit more kind of like I don't know just not as like smooth as I would like them to be. I'm gonna go in with the shade Bing and I'm just placing that on the outer corner. It's just a little bit darker. Just want to create like some depth to this eyeshadow. Kind of want to do smoky eye because that's like what I'm in the mood for today. Now I just went in with the shade Devilish and I'm just applying that to my outer corner and working my way into my crease. I'm actually going to go ahead and place that shade all over my lid. We're going for like a cranberry smoky eye today. So yeah, so I'm placing that all over my lid and then just pretty much blending it out. I'm just going to take my Sephora eyeliner. This is in the shade Neor Black. So this is number one. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and line my lash line. We're not going to do like a wing line or anything like that. So I have my base on, I have my bronzer on, powder, and I finished the rest of my eyes as well and my lashes and all of that good stuff. So now we're going to move on to the Naked er, the Naked Cherry Highlight and Blush Palette, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with the blush, which is this little like pink blush right here. You guys know that me and pink blushes don't really do well, but um, 
yeah, I don't know. When I was swatching these, they felt a little bit powdery. Um, even the highlighters, maybe it could be that since all of the things are like in one together, like highlighter and blush, um, maybe that's why it's a little bit more, less creamy than it should be or what I would like. Um, so let's see how this performs. But off the bat, I don't like that it feels really like powdery and chalky instead of like buttery, which is what I look for like in a highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this pink blush. <laughs> I really don't like pink blush on me, but just for the purpose of the video, we're going to do that. Oh girl. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E4 brush. I'm like in focus and that this camera is recording in 1080 right now because I'm going to be real tight if it's not. I'm going to go ahead and take this champagne kind of color um, highlighter and I'm going to apply that one. Oh, that's very powdery off the bat. Just by dipping my brush is like really powdery. And this is a Laura Mercier fan highlighter brush. I'm just going to apply that. Not as beaming as I would like it to be, so if you're that type of person that likes a more subtle highlight, then this would be perfect. Um, I feel like I need to go over with my beauty blender because it looks a little bit like, I don't know, it's just kind of like sitting on my skin and I don't really like that. So I'm going to go over it with my beauty blender. Over the top as well, everywhere that I apply it pretty much. Not really loving it, so if anything, I would say like skip on that. The eyeshadow actually looks really, really pretty. I'm going to move on to lips. These are the three lipsticks that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Ooh, the packaging is super cute. I really like this packaging. It has like a cherry, and I really, really love the Urban Decay um lipsticks, like their formula. I really, really love it. I have two of them that are like my favorite. Alright, so this is the shade Juicy. It's this one right here. Still have a little bit of like the pink blush here, but this is the shade Juicy. Here we have the lipstick in the shade Cherry. Might go with this one to be completely honest. Yeah, I think I might go with this one. I haven't done the dark lip in forever. So this is Cherry. Last but not least, we have a Devilish. I believe this also has glitters in it. So... Yeah, this is like pink glitter type of like lipstick. All right, I guess. Um, I'm going to go either with one of these two. Let me see something. I don't know. I just feel like the glitter in this is like throwing me off. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to line my lip with MAC Spice. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Juicy because I kind of feel like I have a lot going on up here. So I'm just going to go in with this one. It's a nice shade. It just has like a little bit of glitter in it, which I honestly don't like very much. But I don't want to go in with the dark lip. And for the purpose of this video, we have to go in with the lips that the collection brought. <laughs> I think I'm going to mix this one with the shade Cherry. No, oh, I'm really not feeling this lip at all. I'm definitely not feeling this at all. So last but not least, we're going to go in with the Cherry Scented Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Hmm. It doesn't smell too much like cherry in my opinion, um, but it definitely smells better than their original. Um, I could smell the cherry a little bit, but it isn't anything like too crazy or overpowering. Um, my hair looks crazy right now, so I'm just going to leave my hair like this. 
pretty much to finish off the video. Alright you guys, so this is the end of the video. My final thoughts on this entire collection is that if you really really need something in your collection and you don't have something that is like this palette or that doesn't have these colors or that you can't achieve like this look or any other look, um, pretty much like then you get this palette. I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like it's not a need. If you want this palette, then definitely go ahead and get it. Um, it is a beautiful palette on the outside. The packaging is beautiful, and also the shadows blend very, very well. And is that it is a want, not a need. Um, and what I mean by that is if you want this collection because of the packaging and you like to collect, like, packaging and things that have like the cute packaging and stuff like that then go ahead and purchase it and if you do want to try this out then go ahead and try it and purchase it for yourself and try it out and see if you like it i personally did really like the palette it feels just like their other palettes um the formula hasn't changed or anything like that all right now moving on to the second product is the highlight and blush palette this is something i would definitely pass on i didn't like this at all um like i said the only thing that i really really liked from this co collection is the palette their palettes are really really good um but this blush and highlighting palettes i honestly like i've never really been a fan of things like this because i just feel like one product messes up the texture of the other i just feel like since the blush has to be like a powder type of blush it messes up with the highlighters being creamy and stuff like that so um i'm never really a big fan of like highlighting blushes and palettes and stuff like that maybe that's why i don't like this but once again i always tell you guys try things out for yourself because what i may not like you might so the product i did like was this cherry scented type of like um setting spray i do love their setting spray the all-nighter but i just feel like um for some reason it smells really weird i still use it because it's a great setting spray but it definitely smells very very weird so i like that this has a hint of like cherry in there so i definitely would definitely like purchase this one if you don't like the scent of the original um setting spray as for the lipsticks i don't know i don't like them i'm not feeling them i really like the formula i love the urban decay cream lipsticks formula but when it comes to like the colors i just don't know like i really just don't like them and i feel kind of like the cherry lipstick is a little bit too sheer in my opinion to be that color and it looks a little bit too glossy to be that color i feel like they should have made it a little bit more matte but that's just my opinion and my preference and what i like um what else do we have oh I didn't use these. I didn't use the liners, but I have used their liners before and they are amazing. These are the 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencils and these are so creamy and so pigmented and they are 100% waterproof. So they will not come off of your eyes. So I definitely recommend these and they have a whole bunch of different shades. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked this review. Um, let me know down below what you think about this collection. If you like it, if you're going to go out and purchase it, if you're going to pass. Um, just let me know down below in the comments. Chat with me. I'll be answering back to all the comments. Um, leave, give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to turn your bell notification buttons on so you know each time that I upload and I think that's pretty much it I will see you guys in my next video bye